Hello and welcome to Battle Report 15 for the channel. Today we have a Kings of War Battle Report, 1500 points. The scenario is Kill and Pillage. So, for those of you who watched my last Battle Report, or Battle Report number 14, this is going to look really, really similar, but I will go over it. For the dwarf side, we have Shield Breaker, Horde, Brew of Sharpness, Bulwarker Regiment, Brew of Courage, Earth Elementals, the Blessing of the Gods for the Elite, uh, Rangers Troop, Greater Earth Elemental, a Steel Behemoth, two Army Standard Bearers, one with the Boomstick and one with the Healing Charm, one Stone Priest, Bane Chant, Upgrade, and the Brew of Haste. For the Forces of Nature, push the button, we have a Salamander Horde with Brew of Strength, a Salamander Horde, Earth Elemental Horde, uh, two Beasts of War, one with the Lightning Bolt and one with Vicious, a Unicorn, the inspiring amulet, tree herder, druid with the bane giant upgrade. Hop right into deployment. From left to right, we have the brew of strength salamanders, tree herder, lightning bolt. Uh, the lightning bolt guy is the triceratops or the stegodon. The vicious guy is the carnosaur. A horde of salamanders. The druid is right behind them, and then the uh, horde of Earth Elementals. Uh, an overview of the deployment, although I haven't gone over my side, but you can still see that we are uh, much, much more on the uh, left side of the board. So, uh, for the dwarves, uh, on the far, far side there in the one left there in the woods is my ranger troop. Next, and then <laughs> the rest of my units are bull workers, army standard bearer with boomstick, shield breakers, tank. Army Standard Bear with Healing Charm behind him, Greater Earth Elemental, Rune Priest behind him, and Horde of Earth Elementals. So we roll off for turn one, and turn one goes to the Forces of Nature. And such Forces of Nature left move up quite aggressively. Um, we did have seven tokens placed out, so we rolled up the max amount, so there's plenty on the board to grab, but this is also kill and pillage, so... The other side, uh, the Shamblers move up as slow as they do without um, without Surge. Uh, my, my opponent, very, very oftentimes, I play this guy a lot, and he likes to put the, uh, as you can see here, he likes to put the tree, tree man across from my tank. Um, there's not a lot of things that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the tank very well, especially not front-to-front, -front, so it's a common thing for him to do. Uh, we go into shooting, and uh, Lightning Bolt uh, takes a toll on my armor standard bearer. Uh, and he actually gets wavered, so that's kind of a bummer. We go into dwarves, turn one. Dwarves shuffle up as they do. On the left, um, the army standard bearer did not pass his headstrong roll, so he's going to hang out. Uh, and on this side, we don't really move because we're in range to shoot. So, uh, and that's it. Just an overview of the end of turn one. So we hop into turn two. Um, nature turn two. Um, Moves up a little bit. Um, he seem, he's currently content to uh, sit on those walls and claim those tokens. So that's okay. Uh, and on this side, the Shamblers move up. And that was it. Nothing else of consequence. So we move into Dwarves turn two. Um, being the slower, slower group, Dwarves move up. A little bit, not super aggressively, but they move up. On your side, the Rangers just shuffle up a little bit as well. Shooting, uh, we get a few points of damage on the Stegodon here, um, probably from the tank. And healing, we get a little bit of healing back on the uh, Leather Army Standard Bearer. So, there's the overview at the end of two. Nothing too exciting. We move into turn three, and you can see turn three goes quite uh, different. So, um, nearly an all out charge from the forces of nature. The Horde of Salamanders hits the Horde of Earth Elementals. <clears throat> the Stegodon hits the Greater Earth Elemental. The Tree Herder hits the Tank. And the Carnosaur hits the Shield Breaker Horde. And over here, the Shamblers just shamble. Or, it's not Shamblers, Earth Elementals. They just have to be Shambler models. Um, so, an overview there. So, we can see what's everything that's going on. His other Horde is hanging back. A little bit of healing goes off, uh, cleans up the Stegodon just fine, 
a uh, Bane chant is cast on the Tree Herder, which is probably good. Uh, starting with combats, the Tree Herder only pulls off 3 damage on the tank. The Carnosaur puts 5 damage on the uh, Shield Breakers, which is probably pretty good. Um, the Stegodon only manages 1 damage to the Greater Earth Elemental, and the Salamanders only manage 4 damage to this uh, Horde of Earth Elementals. So, not nearly the uh, the uh, devastating effect you would probably hope to get for his side, I guess. Uh, so that's just an overview. <coughs> As we move into dwarves, excuse me, um, it's not going to look like much because on this side it's just counter charging. So earth elementals back into the salamanders, um, greater earth elemental back into stegadon, um, tank back into the tree beard or well, tree beard, but tree herder, and the uh, shield breakers back in back to the carnosaur. Um, honestly, all all of these fights I'm I'm pretty okay with. Um, the only one I actually expect to lose, probably the Earth Elementals probably won't beat them. But everyone else will at least hold out for a long time or beat their opposing target. Um, the only change over here is I have swung the Bulwarkers uh, sideways um, in the attempt to... I, I know that those Forest Shamblers are going to come and eventually beat up my Rangers... So I want to have, uh, hopefully set up a double charge so I can hit a, hit the Forest Shamblers in the front with the Ranger, not the Forest Shamblers, eh, the Earth Elementals in the front with the Rangers and the Earth Elementals in the flank with the Bulwarkers. Uh, Bulwarkers aren't great at beating up on a defense six item, but a flank charge at least will double their attacks. Um, a mighty one point of shooting on these guys. Uh, healing on the tank, Healbot does what Healbot does. And a Bane Chant on the Greater Earth, or on the regular Earth Elementals. Uh, looks like there was also some more shooting over here. So that's good. Uh, moving into combat, the shield breakers with the brew of, uh, or potion of sharp, whatever the sharpness thing is, do what they do and slice down this guy, no problem. Um, they don't do anything on their overrun just to keep some options open. Tank puts puts a hefty amount of damage on the tree, tree herder. Greater Earth Elemental does pretty good for what he is. Uh, and these guys do pretty good work too. The Earth Elementals. So uh, nobody else routes, just carrying on. So move on to turn four. Um, turn four, you can see the Earth Elementals have moved up a little bit. Um, I think they stayed out of charge range. Both of the, my units, the um, Salamander Horde, top defense, and came over. So they're gonna start. Uh, oops, start participating. Here's a better picture of that. Uh, otherwise, everybody just counter charges back into where they were. Um, yeah, probably what you would expect. Another overview of that. Uh, a little bit of healing is done on the tree man. Uh, Bane chant on the tree man again. That's a pretty good idea. And he ends up uh, pulling off six damage this turn, which is pretty good for a guy with seven attacks. <laughs> Obviously, but yeah. So. Uh, pretty hefty attack. Um, the Stegadon doesn't do much. Not terribly surprising. Um, but the uh, horde of Salamanders do do some work. Um, get the and uh, successfully route the Grey Earth Elemental Horde, which is kind of a bummer. So they um, position like that. Uh, so here's an overview. The end of Nature Turn Four. So Dwarves Turn Four. Um, on the left, the Stone Priest goes to sacrifice himself to guard the flank of the Greater Earth Elemental. Uh, otherwise, everyone is just either countercharging, the Greater Earth Elemental countercharges, the tank countercharges, and the uh, Horde O oh, Shield Breakers go into the Salamander Horde. And over here, okay, so I wasn't quite right. The um, Rangers were in position, range to charge. But the bull workers were not for charging the earth elementals on the right. So the rangers go in because, honestly, they're better in combat than they are at shooting. And they were going to get charged anyway. So, in the shooting phase, we get a heal off on the tank. We get a bane chant off on the greater earth elemental. Because I would really like... Um, actually, this is a funny mistake. I would really like that Stegadon to die. And then after I did this, I was like, wait, the greater earth elemental is already crushing strength 3. I just cast something on him that doesn't help 
So, there. Live and learn. Um, combat over here. The uh, Mighty Mighty Rangers. I actually get a couple damage. Nothing special. The Shield Breakers do a lot of work, though. They get up 14, 14 damage on these guys, which is pretty good. And successfully waver them, which is even better. Uh, tank gets a couple damage. Nothing special. Greater Earth Elemental. Get some more damage in, but everyone's sticking around. So that's the end of turn four, an overview. Um, pretty well stuck in. Um, overall, though, I'd say it's a pretty pretty even fight right now. So, in turn five, Earth Elementals go back into the, uh, <coughs> the Rangers. They're a pretty squishy target, so that makes sense. Um, everybody counter charges or charges here, so the sacrificing stone priest is doing what he does uh, Stegonon back into the greater earth elemental of course and the tree man back into the tank in the middle the um, wavered salamanders do their back up half their distance and the uh, druid goes to sacrifice himself so that the next charge won't be on them a little bit of healing on the tree man a little bit of Bane Chant on the Tree Man. Uh, in combat, these Salamanders failed to kill the Stone Priest. Um, they did waver him, but he got pretty lucky. He was uh, not even inspired. He just rolled really poorly, I think. Um, damage minimal on the Greater Earth Elemental. Um, more damage on the tank and a successful waver on the tank. And over here, um, a successful waiver. Luck luckily, these guys survived, um, but the, the rangers are wavered. Um, uh, that actually isn't correct. He actually did seven damage to me and then rolled a four for the, for the roll. And I was like, oh, an 11. Oh, well, they're wavered. Some, and then for some reason, I put out 11 points of damage. But it doesn't matter. They're, they're wavered, and I, for some reason, think they have 11 points of damage on them, but it's inconsequential. So... Um, the end of nature turn five. Um, a lot of guys wavered on my side, but some good charges set up. So, go into dwarves turn five, and we see how headstrong is going to work for us. And start off, it's good. The rangers are okay. The tank is okay, and the stone priest is okay. So everyone's doing stuff. So we get to the movement. Um, the stone priest actually moves himself out of the way now. Yeah, wait, no, actually, actually, I think he, no, yeah, the Stone Priest charges the Stegodon, the Greater Earth Elemental charges the Stegodon, the tank, again, charges the tree, um, the Shield Breakers charge the Druid, and this, this long-anticipated double charge of these Earth Elementals finally happens. Uh, healing, the, the, uh, Army Standard Bearer, uh, welds a piece of the tank back on. In combat, um, surprisingly, the double charge um, from these guys actually routes the earth elementals. The uh, bull workers rolled out of the box like lots of sixes for their for their damage rolls, so that was pretty lucky. So they reform like such. Um, of course, the druid was not long for this world, and they overrun as such. Um, they needed like a four or a five to get into those guys, and they didn't make it. Uh, the <clears throat> tree man takes some damage and actually gets wavered, which is pretty good. So he's not doing anything. Um, the earth elemental and uh, stone priest, greater earth elemental and stone priest, take out the Stegodon and reform as such. And so here's an overview. Um, pretty good turn for the dwarves. Uh, a few of those annoying guys out of the way. Um, those tokens on this low side of the board are obviously now pretty much mine uh, so we go into turn six uh, turn six salamander hordes charge um, obviously the salamander hordes only have two targets so they go into them um, I think the other thing to show I'm not showing is the I think the unicorn charges somebody like the stone priest in the flank or stone priest or something like that but anyway so Moving, moving. Um, <coughs> yeah, and the other salamanders go into the uh, shield breakers. So, 
Uh, these guys get some damage on the Earth Elemental, but he holds out okay because he's inspired by the Army Sander Bear. Uh, and these guys <clears throat> do get a good amount of damage on the uh, <clears throat> excuse me uh, Shield Breakers, but they're okay. Well, they're not okay. They're wavered. Quite the opposite. Uh, move into Dwarf's turn six, and I fail my Headstrong. So they're just going to hang out for a while. Otherwise, on this side of the board, um, charges go in. So back into the tree, um, the Greater Earth Elemental, into the Salamanders, etc., etc. Uh, and on this side, um, we're just moving up a little bit. Rangers, they're just going to sit on that token. And the ball workers are going to come up and just sit on that token. Uh, a little bit of healing on the tank. A little bit of shooting on the salamanders. Uh, a little bit of combat here. Uh, nothing is, nothing, I mean, it's pretty good, but nothing nothing life-changing. Uh, the, big, the big outcome of this turn is that the tank successfully routes the tree and reforms like such. So, um, I reformed like such. I was. Um, it looks kind of silly to reform like this because you'd be like, well, you can't charge those guys, but... I have a, this is turn six, the bottom of six. So I have full expectation that if there is a turn seven, that those salamanders are going to, oh, excuse me, are going to uh, rock, rock that <laughs> greater earth elemental out. No problem. So we roll a four, five, or six. Let's see if there's another turn. And there is. So we go into turn seven. Uh, nature turn seven. All the expected charges come out. Um, so you can see here, salamanders into the greater earth elemental, salamanders into the shield breakers. The salamanders into the shield breakers do a lot of good work and route them. Um, oh, here's another charge just showing, I guess that the, the, uh, um, unicorn goes into the tank for fun. Um, these guys, these salamanders take out the greater earth elemental, no problem, and back up. Uh, the Earth, <laughs> the Unicorn doesn't do anything to the tank. Um, and then that's the end of Nature Turn 7. So you can see the board looks like this. Um, just a couple Salamander Hordes left for my opponent, and a few things left on my side. We go into Dwarves Turn 7. The Tank and Army Standard Bear double charge the Salamander Horde. Um, they both are going to be hindered, um, because that little hill thing is a... Um, uh, no, dangerous or you know difficult terrain um the other guy's just hanging out there you see the army sander bear turns he's got a shooting attack so he's going to shoot at that salamander horde um over on this side nothing special i'm just sitting on their tokens and waiting so we go into shooting and we take off that salamander horde uh, between the boomstick and the rangers um they were pretty well damaged so it wasn't it wasn't too much to take care of. Uh, and the tank and the army standard bearer um, handle these uh, salamanders quite readily. So, um, as you can see. So that's that's the end of the game. Um, result, it was a, a massive dwarf victory. We didn't even bother adding it up. The only thing he had left on the board was his unicorn. And I had a tank. Uh, my bull workers... Two army standard bearers, um, and and uh, the rangers. I mean, every, I still had plenty of stuff on the board, and I had something like four tokens, so it's quite a quite a sufficient victory for the dwarves. Um, so my my thoughts on the game. I like to do um, headstrong. Really paid off this game. Um, I find it. I find it's a, a excellent army special rule, as far as army special rules come. Um, having a 50 50 chance to ignore the waiver is huge um, especially you know it's it's not it's not the death sentence that it would be for other people um the game was 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 actually a really good game um it swung back and forth a lot um those those big the big footprint of those salamanders is surprisingly helpful for capturing multiple tokens because <laughs> he's so he's so wide that 12 inch space tokens can can be both be gotten by just sitting between them um obviously so um yeah this, this game the only thing about it was it wasn't like a ton of tactics it was it was much more about okay this this guy can fight this guy and these guys will fight these guys and it was like just smash 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 but 
Um, I guess, you know, wh what do you expect for this sort of a game when killing is actually you know, required? So, anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully I'll get, get some other armies and opponents in here so you have a little bit more flavor and everything. But thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.